Hello, future engineers. Namaste. This is your English mentor, Samita Ma'am. Let's solve today's English question with clear insight. This is our very first question, OK? And our question is, the phonemic transcription of the word H is? We have four options. Now let's break down all these options. Actually, what is meant by phone? Phoneme is the smallest unit of a language. Here, in this word H, E, T, C, H, it has all together four letters. But if we observe a sound, then it has just two individual sounds. Right? So the very first sound is A. A. Okay? This sound can be observed in this word like pen, get, when, then, well, tell, many, again. This is a sound. Okay? And similarly, another sound is jaw sound. Just like as child, coach, here is this sound, nature, Chaw sound, catch. Okay, by the combinations of these two different, you know, phonemes, it becomes H. So the correct answer is none other than this very first. I hope you have understood well. Now this is the turn of question number fifty, and the question is: the word euphemism has its primary stress on the dash syllable. Okay, let's see. You for me jump. You for me jump. This is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. It has all together four syllable, right? And we need to observe the primary stress here. In terms of, you know, stress, okay, you first know this very idea. If a word has suffixes like A-V-L-E, L-E-T, late, T-U-R-E, I-S-E, I-Z-T, I-S-M, okay, the stress falls on the first syllable. According to this very trick, definitely the primary stress will be on your first syllable, that is Y-double-O. And a word having a stress will be louder in sound, longer in sound, and it has a high pitch. Okay. This is question number 51. And the question is, he resigned rather than dash part in such a dishonest transaction. Option number A is take, that is base verb. Option number B, took, second form of verb. Option number three, or let's say C, taking present participle and option number D, had taken, okay, past perfect. So, among these very four options, okay, which is the correct answer, let's, okay, bring a clear insight here. Okay, he resigned rather than. In terms of these rather than, okay, it is a conjunction or we can say phrase which takes base verb after it, okay? Rather than always takes base verb after it. So base verb means first form of verb. So the correct answer is none other than number A, that is take. He resigned rather than take part in sort of dishonest transaction. Now this is the tone of question number 52. He was a man whom all his friends dash as kind and hospitable. Okay. See, he was a man whom all his friends as kind and, you know, hospitable. Okay. Rate, rated, had rated, has rated. The answer, the suitable answer for this question is none other than option number B. Why? Why not others? Why rated? Why, you know, second form of verb? Look, you know, he was a man, okay, 
whom all his friends, right? So he is considered as, you know, very kind and hospitable person, right? So he was considered during the time of his speaking. It is not that people have already considered him as, you know, or kind and hospitable. It is, you know, it is done during the time of speaking. Okay, so we have to keep here verb two. That's why he was a man whom all his friends rated as kind and hospitable. Now let's do question number 53. A person who hates omen, you have four options. First option is misogamist. Second option is misogynist. Third is masochist. And last one is misanthropist. So look at here. The definition is, okay, misogamist stands for a person who hates or avoids marriage, all right? Similarly, okay, misogynist, a person who hates or is strongly prejudiced against a man. Did you get it? So, okay, misogynist stands for a person who hates, all right, or is strongly prejudiced against a woman. That's why this is the correct answer for this. But what, what is masochist? Okay, masochist is a person who derives, you know, pleasures from their own pain or humiliation. And the last option is misanthropist, who is called, or let's say, he is a person, or let's say, misanthropist are those persons, you know, who dislike or distrust human mankind in, you know, general. So the correct answer for this question number 53 is none other than, okay, misogamist. Let's do question number 54. In terms of question number 54, what is called for contempt of God? First is atheism, second is nihilism, third one is blasphemy, and last one is agnosticism. Agnosticism is the last one. So let's define each of these words, okay? Contempt of God. The very first option says, okay, it is atheism, which stands for the belief that there is no God or gods. Nihilism. The belief that life is meaningless and rejects all religious and moral principles. Blasphemy, disrespectful or contemptuous speech or action toward God or sacred things. Last option, agnosticism. It is the belief that the existence of God or the divine is unknown or unknowable. So what is meant by contempt of God? For this question, the answer is none other than blasphemy, okay, which means disrespectful or contemptuous speech or action toward good or sacred things, right? So option number C is your correct answer for this question number 54. Let's do question number 55. He died as cancer. Option number A, from, B, off, number C, in, and number D is off. You have four prepositions and you need to select from them. Here he died of cancer, okay? He died of cancer, why? Because, you know, you have to write, you know, off after die, you know, for disease or illness, hunger or starvation, thirst or let's say grief and same. For all these reasons, you need to go for a die off, all right? So, see, cancer, okay? So, it is the cause of, let's say, death right that's why for this disease okay or illness okay you have to go for die off let's do question number 56 the police ran dash the thief and your options are two towards for after now the police ran after the thief okay if you are chasing right if you are chasing or pursuing someone you need to write you know after after the word ran all right that's why the correct answer is ran after let's go for question number 57 the boat was dashed in the river options are drawn sunk has been drawn had been drawn okay let's do in terms of sink or let's say sank or song okay in terms of the verb you know, sink or let's say sank, any forms of this verb, right? Uh, this verb is used for inanimate object, 
just like as a boat okay sea for stone that go down under the surface of the water similarly while talking about drone right this verb is used for living things for people or you know animals that die by suffocating in water that's why the topic or let's say the subject is talking about the boat okay for the boat you have to go for sunk let's go for question number 58 they will be delighted if you dash them this question is from conditional sentence now look at here it has two clause the very first one is if clause c l a u s if clause right c here is if clause right and you need to keep your verb and another is will be okay this is main clause and main clause has all right main clause c l a u s e main clause has will plus b let's say that is verb one so in terms of you know if clause if you welcome them you know it is in present simple tense and another is main clause okay they will be delighted look at here they will be delighted if you welcome him in terms of very first conditional sentence you have to be watchful about simple present tense if clause you know it carries simple present tense that is verb one or verb five if there is you know simple present in your if clause then you have to keep either will or can or may plus base verb or let's say verb one okay in terms of main verb now see they will be here is modal verb and here is be will be okay it is already kept in terms of you know main uh, clause and uh, here is we have if clause so in terms of if clause okay we have to keep verb one right because you stands for plural subject either you have two choice right either you keep b1 or you keep b5 okay it is determined by your subject and your subject is you U stands for plural subject, plural subject X plural verb, that is verb one and verb one is welcome. So they will, will be delighted if you welcome them. The number of students in the class dash 40, the question is from subject verb agreement. Now let's solve. Options are is, are, where, have, okay. In terms of the number of, okay, see the number of, this is your subject, right? this is your subject here it determines your answer all right in terms of the number of okay it makes your subject you know singular subject or let's say this is your singular subject singular subject takes singular verb okay r is plural where is plural have been is plural so go for is that is the number of students in the class is 40 right in terms of all number of and in terms of the number of the number of stands for singular and all number of stands for plural so be careful about it now look at here this is question number 60 okay a pair of plants does in the drawer your options are are where is both a and c look at here your subject of the sentence is a pair not plants so of plans is a prepositional phrase that describes the pair okay so a pair means you know your subject is singular right so o stands for one a pair means one pair right so your subject is singular that's why you need to keep is here where is plural r is plural and both a and c look at here a is plural and no your option is c not a so option number d is also wrong let's go for read the following pages and answer the given questions 97 read the following pages and answer the given questions first question is like what might be the topic of the following paragraph okay among these four options your first option is right another method of weld method of joining metals welding is still importance of welding so you have four options and among these four options there is one perfect uh, you know uh, topic for this paragraph so let's read 
The simplest method of welding two pieces of metal together is known as pressure welding. Okay, look at here. So it means to say that the simplest method, it strongly implies that there are other different and you know possibly more complex methods of welding, right? On the basis of this very idea, we can say, you know, the topic of the following paragraph is none other than number A, that is another method of weld. Question number B. The metal becomes plastics means the metal looks like plastics. The metal is converted into plastics. The metal can be molded into shape. The metal behaves like plastic. Okay. See the basis for this answer. Look at here, the core idea from the pieces. At this temperature, the metal became plastic. The ends are then pressed together and the joint is smoothened off. See? So on the basis of this very idea, you can say, okay, the actions of pressed together and smoothened off, you know, it demonstrates that the metal is soft enough to be molded and shaped into a new form, right? So on the basis of this very, you know, clue, we can consider that the metal can be molded into shape, which is the correct answer for this question, okay? The metal becomes plastics means none other than the metal can be molded into shapes. Question number 99, the best suitable title of this text is Objective of the welding, importance of flocks in welding, different types of welding, process of pressure welding. So let's read the very first line. The simplest method of welding two pieces of metal together is known as pressure welding. Okay. On the basis of, you know, this very statement okay we can say you know option number d process of pressure welding is the best suitable title you know of this text the entire text is you know dedicated to explaining a specific method of welding right so due to this we can say you know the best suitable title of this text is none other than number d that is process of pressure welding Our last question, okay, question number 100, that is one statement of advice is made for. Option number A, welding temperature of iron, taking care for surfaces, oxidation of metal in high temperature. Last one is use of different types of weld. So see the line, care must be taken to ensure the surfaces are thoroughly clean first for dirt will weaken the world. Okay, for dirt will weaken the world. So on this very idea, we can say taking care for surface is the statement of advice which is inside this spaces, right? So answer is none other than number B. One statement of advice is made for taking care for surfaces. Okay, this much for today's question. See you next week. Have a good day.